the Maddie Daddy, hitting it hard, hitting it fast for Fantasy Football Network, all things football, dynasty related, and redraft. But I'm here today to hit you with some yum yum, some good, good RBs to sell in dynasty. The name of the game is sell high, buy low. So now is the time to sell these guys before the floor falls out. So regardless of age, talent, whatnot, these are the guys you need to move ASAP because you just might not like the end result come August. Let's start it off with the rookie, the young blood, the young buck, Elijah Mitchell. We're talking a running back that took the NFL by storm, minus injuries. Do, do, do. We're talking RB26 in 11 games. Maddie, why are we selling this guy? This guy was cooking with Crisco. We're talking 137 receiving yards, 963 yards in 11 games. As they say in the music biz, this girl is on fire. Not so fast. This is a risk, risky reward situation. And with a rookie with not well draft capital, you look at Philip Lindsay's players like this, they don't always continue on a streak in the NFL. And you also look at the running backs behind him. Sermon, Wilson, Mostert if he gets re-signed. In this Shanahan offense, it doesn't matter who the RB is because of the system. System is king in the NFL. So Elijah Mitchell, injury concerns, draft capital, and the RB depth chart that you have there don't even include Trey Lance, who should be starting this coming year. How does he affect these running backs with his rushing upside as well? To me, Mitchell's a, a move. What are we moving him for, Daddy? What are we moving him for, Matty? Well, Fantasy Football Network has the answers. Guys, if I can get the 105, the 106 in this draft class, I'm taking it. I'm trying to get throw-ins, a Hunter Renfro in a 23 first. I'm trying to get Mooney in a 23 first. Guys, get depth. Get draft capital. Mitchell, even if you're in a rebuild, this isn't necessarily the guy you're buying unless you can get a second for this guy. But sell, sell, sell. If I can lock up a mid-first and a receiver with upside or whatnot, because remember, come August, running backs are king but he is an injury away from having his job taken. Elijah Mitchell, Dynasty, Redraft, he's a sell, baby. Woo! Let's move on. Oh, this one pains to hurt. You see the Cowboys star, America's team, Jerry Jones. It's Maddie Daddy. This one hurts because I am a Cowboys truther, but the proof was in the pudding on the stat sheet on the results of the Cowboys last year. Our offensive line is aging. But Matty Daddy, RB7 on the year. Zeke was a stud. He was per game, not so much. Guys, have you heard the song? Where have all my cowboys gone? It's Zeke. Doo -doo -doo. It's Cooper. Doo -doo -doo. That's another episode. Gallup, don't leave. Anyways, we look at what he did. Yards per carry, 4.2. 40th in yards after contact. His volume has decreased every single year in his durability, guys. We're talking about a running back who's 27. A lot left to be desired. And this one hurts the most. He had 1,002 yards in 17 games. Ay, caramba. We're talking 58.9 yards per carry last year. So this RB7 ranking does look sexy, but at the end result, the stat line shows not so much, my friend. Now, Zeke, what am I doing? What am I taking in return for this guy? I think you need to shoot for the stars. Obviously, top three pick in this rookie draft, not going to happen. But a future first, a second, a couple seconds. We're getting quality and quantity. Everybody knows the draft class in 23 is going to have a lot of running backs, a lot of receivers, a lot of quarterbacks. But you have to hit on the draft capital. So, Zeke, am I giving the 104 away this year for Zeke? No, I'm getting the 104. You got to learn the name of the game. Go off that RB7 upside. Go get you a receiver. Go get you a player who has more. Go get a Saquon Barkley. People are crapping on right now. Go get a Michael Carter in a future first for Zeke in a second. Get players with upside with the age on their side, a 21-year-old running back, a 24-year-old running back. But the Cowboys are about to be in cap hell. You look at that line. <clears throat> Zeke is a sell. See what you can get. Now's the time to do it. Don't hesitate. Go, run, run, run. Speaking of running, oh, 
I'm running away from Rashad Penny. Redraft, I was loving him. End of the season, won me some redraft leagues. But in Dynasty, no, 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 not so fast. I'm getting away from this guy. Why, Daddy? This guy was over 26 points per game over the last five games. Why are you getting rid of Rashad Penny? Well, guess what? He's 26, too. Huh? We just haven't seen him play. So every time he plays, it's like he's a rookie, baby. But you look at his career, one season over 85 carries. That's enough. That's not enough. Excuse me. This is bad. Bad news, Brown. When you're looking at Penny, free agent, you're looking at Melvin Gordon, Connor. Man, Penny is at the bottom of the totem pole. Even if he re-signs with Seattle, you look at Carson going 10 rounds later than this guy. Penny is a sell at all costs because he is never going to offer you the volume, the durability you want in Dynasty. To this, no matter what time of year it is, it's always a time to sell Penny and make a dollar. So, Penny, what can you get for him? Obviously, nobody's willing to trade it first. But why do I keep mentioning Dynasty and Draft Capital? Draft Capital is king come March, come April, come May. So now, now's your chance to trade Penny and a second rounder and get a first. Move up in the draft, maybe. Things like that. Penny could be a free agent and could sign somewhere sexy, or he could go back to a crowded backfield. But now's your time to move on from Penny before it's too late. All it takes is an injury in training camp or week one, blow an ACL, and you're out of your investment. Penny was on waivers a year ago, and now he's on your team. So make sure you're selling Penny now. No, do it. Dynasty Fantasy Football. If you like what you saw, check out Fantasy Football Network on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all over the place, kicking butt with different shows, 7 o'clock, Jay the Plug, you name it, Fantasy Football Ball Guy, everybody and anybody, Kyle and Corey, oh, I could keep going on. There's so much content on the Fantasy Football Network. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. I'm the Maddie Daddy. As always, let's get on out. Woo! I'm just kidding. Next time, though, we're doing buys. Running backs, buys to target. And as always, it's been a pleasure. My treasure. Let me do it again. Two claps for the Ric Flair. Woo!